and what's up guys my name is Joseph and my name is Noah and welcome to CBR today we have an Amazon parcel in front of me and um, you better blur out that that thing <laughs> okay so now we have destroyed our um, label of our dress yeah we can unblur now we can now unbox so uh, I guess this is how you do an unboxing also do, do you notice that our code is same are they same to like make our code same our tracking code. No. They're stereotyping us, I say. And then I cut there. Yeah. yeah. I need to open the other side. By the way, guys, can you guess what this is before we open it? Like, also, guess my name. <laughs> you, you said your name. <laughs> well, we're a tech channel. We're going to be doing fixings and unboxings. Yeah, so and we... it's in the title. And so what we need is. Um, let's throw that over there because that's what unboxers yep, do, right? Yeah. You just throw it away. Like that's what unboxers do, right? Um, also, it's well. A... It's the iFixit oh, Pro Tech Toolkit. Yeah, you, you can tell it's professional because it has the word pro in the name. Yes, yeah, so it's professional. That's short and professional, right? It's like iMac's definition of the iMac Pro. It just means a lot more. Yeah, um, so you know what unboxers do? They like go, yeah, yeet! So that's what I'm gonna do. So I guess we've got to open this. There's, there's a horrible thing here. It's called tape. Do you want to get rid of the tape, Noah? Yes. Eh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think this slides off. You want to use? Yep. Okay. Yep. Just go for. It. Wait. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is nice. They've got like I fix it branding on it. It's so <laughs> seamless. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we, we we pick up the box. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thanks. This is blockier than I imagined it to be. Well, it has a lot of stuff in it, doesn't it, Joseph? Hold on. Oh, that, that was a that, That's a 10 out of 10 um, uh, Velcro. <laughs> yep. Did Very good quality Velcro. Didn't. So in here we have... Um, Anti-static. Anti-static uh, wristbands. wristbands. Which I already have a ton of. You put this around you, yourself <laughs> like this. So then you don't destroy your computer parts while fixing things. Yeah, or... like I did. Slide it back in. There we go. Then we've got a um, one of these. We we have a suction cup. You see, um, that's very good for removing screens on phones or iPads. For example, iPad we have or... an iPhone S um, 5S here. Don't, you don't can... do that, Joseph. You're gonna break it. <laughs> it's actually pulling it. Yay! You just Yay! need a good old squishy girl. <laughs> Now we kind of need to take it off before we destroy the iPhone. Yay! Okay, no. Now, now, now we have spludgers. Spludger. Yeah. And, and, and an identical spludger. And another spludger. See, this is a very good quality spludger. So now I think this is the interesting bit, especially in the photos. So I've seen like the... Yeah. Have you ever seen surgery tools? Well, um... This is no! PC... This is like PC you know you know when your Xbox uh, messes up on you because uh, PlayStation's better. Um, well, when you get this and you go, it. work, 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 and it works. That's actually seriously creepy. <laughs> I know. Or like, <laughs> what even is this for? Like work. Oh, that's work. an even more hardcore spudger. <laughs> and then you've got a um, lovely little um, guitar pick. Sure. Six. Six, it's six. six. You, you, we get six guitar picks. Yeah, or well, there might be five, I don't know, I can't count. And then we get like mega, mega guitar, guitar pick. pick. Well, equivalent, because you can't really guitar pick, pick. pick with this. I mean, you could try. And then we've got another like splutter thingy and hook. And this is another splutter thingy and- It's an apple pencil. This is pointy. Why is this <laughs> so pointy? This is actually needs to be pointy. And then this, I think, is the queen of the show. Yeah. Or the king. Well, We're I not think. assuming gender here. Okay, this this is the lights run out of battery. <laughs> now we're back and we're going to open the monarch of the show, the driver kit. Oh, feel that magnet. Oh, oh feel there's, there's magnets and magnets. They're on the floor for the cat. It says do not digest on it as well. This is a lot of screwdrivers. So a lot. You have your things for disassembling your playstations because they're special. You get your things for disassembling your other stuff because I like iPhones, like I fix it, like iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So here's our dry, uh, like main bit of the screwdriver. This is so high quality. Wait, it's like a me, metal. Let me have. 
Oh, that thing's cool. Yeah, this is like the best. This is queen. I keep on moving my hands out. <laughs> Assuming genders, this is queen. And then yeah. this is like, I I've seen these, but I've never used them. So you see, this is like a bendy screwdriver. It's like bendy and it's a screwdriver. <laughs> Great explanation though. So what you do is you put this end into your screwdriver main bit, then you can bend it. So then it Epic, fits right? into your weird spots. For example, is there even a normal screw a normal like Phillips screwdriver in this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's one like that. Okay. You can get your normal Phillips screwdriver because that's the only one I can actually don't remember. And then you can like put it there and you can turn it. And you think, how does it turn? And it's got a spring in here, which turns it. Like if you look at the end very closely, and I bend it, um, you can see it's turning. It's very smart. Ingenious. I would just use this any day just because it feels so cool. Yeah, it's cool. It is actually really cool. It's okay, so, cool. so then it just it's got magnets and it just goes pop. So satisfying putting these in. And then there's also this magnetic parts tray. So let's say I'm taking apart my laptop and for I, some reason. Yeah, which I've not never done before. And then I just can put bits here in separate boxes so I don't yeah, lose your screws. screws so that you don't lose them. Every single one of these has a little engraving at the bottom which shows what type is supposed to go there. So it can always say organised even though I can barely actually see them. Okay, oh, yeah. so I guess that is the iFixit tool. Because that's where we've got that, I think we should take apart a phone. Here it is, we're going to try and take it apart a bit. So firstly I think to get the screen off, we're going to need a um, super guitar pick. So here's an explanation of what happened to this phone, just, just for a little insight. So someone was walking along with their dailies. Oh, let me just check the time. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Okay, so I think this would be the best thing. Um, uh, so we're gonna, satisfying. As you can see, we're going to... Oh, that sound again. Oh. Metal. Oh, 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 look oh, at that. Oh. Look at that advanced guitar pick action. The screen is coming off. Just oh, a little, bit. just a little more bit. remaining. Come on, come on, come on, tough guitar pick. Come on. Hey. Okay, so 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 that's off. Okay, as you can see, this is very impressive. I was expecting this to bend, but it hasn't. It's like yeah. really straight. Still. Yeah, I know. It's really tough metal. And also, um, the phone was falling apart while we were fixing it. That's how bad this phone is. Okay, we're gonna see. We're if gonna see if we can go in from the back. Because the back yes. might have, yes. because that's like Android phone things. They always go in from the back. So we're static. Okay. okay. So and I already see a few screws. Firstly, battery should have been taken out at the beginning. Will it oh. work? Oh, flip. Or will it not? Oh, flip. Oh, flip. This is coming. This is coming. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's coming. Oh. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, and it's out. It's, it's out. Put it. Where's the magnetic part tray? The, it's not magnetic. Uh, and there is thread lock on it, but that didn't. That gave straight away. We are not sponsored by I, I fix it though, but we, you could We should out. be. <laughs> so, I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, before uploading this video, we have seven subs. So like, yes, so we shall have eight subs. <laughs> isn't that enough for sponsorship or isn't it one th or is it 1,000? <laughs> There's not really that much difference in between those numbers though. Yeah, the camera's almost dead is what he said. Should you plug it in? Yeah. That'd be a smart idea, wouldn't it? Hmm. Is there like a lead or something? Um, I'm just going to find it on the micro. Micro USB lead. Should I just continue while we do that? Yeah. Video continued. So now we have a phone. I think we're just going to try and get everything off the motherboard that we can that is salvageable. At least get the screen off. I guess. I guess the next step would be to get the rest of the plastic housing out. Yeah, I guess. Should we cut this off? Like, the actual mean, screen. What's on that? Nothing. Like, it's completely destroyed. So yeah. I think we just cut it off. Does iFixit have something for that? No. No. <laughs> sure does. Oh, right, okay. Fine. <laughs> Done. <laughs> it's so sharp, it's gonna do anything, basically. Don't break it. Oh. <laughs> that mind. came off quickly. 
Yeah. So you've got these bones we'll here that should lit up, and then we'll you've got... just put this over here in the corner, so that you can tell that this isn't fake. You know, most most Zelda people would be organised to take that completely off of screen. Now I guess we can disconnect the screen. So, oh wow, goes all the way back here, and there's the um, there there's the touch display, but that's completely yeah. smash wounded, so we don't need to care about that. Then I guess this comes round. Yes. And there's a display. See? Boy, we got ourselves a display. Not sure if it works, but... Does anyone know how we could test this? Because that... I mean, cool. we could just short it. <laughs> or drop test it. Would you okay, guys so like to see a drop camera. test? I, I say we put this... All, the small stuff here. There's camera there. Um, in our iFixit toolkit thing. Uh, where, what, what's this? I just had a rubber piece come off. What's there? I think that's a microphone. Okay, we've got the front facing camera here, probably about two megapixels. <laughs> gonna pop if that. If that. Mm -hmm. Just gonna pop that off. Seems to be glued on. Oh, it's, it's popped in just like the front facing, so we just had to pull it off like that. Simple. And it's, now we see the sensor. Which is so Literally, on the, the lens just fell off. And as you see, this is basically like, the most disassembled form. I no, mean, we could just cut open the battery. See, if you guys want to do, see us do that. Like the video. If it gets to 100,000 likes, we'll do okay, it so inside sensor, my house. This sensor is just not coming off. We pulled it off. Perfect. And I just put the, length, the thing back over it and it's good as new. If you inspect this board, you can see that they actually put something over the microphone. So For some kind reason. of sound better, I guess. I don't know. It's just like having the pop filter here. Pop filter. Hello. Oh, Hello. Shoot. You sound horrible without a pop filter. So on this side of the board, we have our headphone jack. Yes. Because this was in the day then that you still kept headphone jacks on, which is here. <laughs> Apple. It's the largest thing on the board. Apple. The fattest thing on the board. Then we just have the main motherboard is up here, I think. We have the charging port, which is in this. So this is a Taptic engine. Well, they call it a Taptic engine in on I mean, iPhones. It's not. But it's seriously just engine. a motor with a half of it is metal and the other half isn't. It's like an Xbox Rumbler, like a remote control. Yeah. Xbox. It is what it is. Pencil then it is. um, what what's th and then this is the main logic board. Now, would you like to help? Uh, so, do, do, do we know what any of this is? So, so this one, this looks like a voltage controller to me, because it has a lot of large contact points. Yeah. Um, and under here somewhere, there should be a CPU, which I don't know. Knowing stereotypes will be like a Snapdragon or something. Bing. So yeah. And then on the other end of the phone, we have where the camera still was. And then we have all the ports for the cameras. Uh, this is the main camera. And this is the, the um, display. And this is the touch thing. The touch thingy, Bob. And we've got a beautiful headphone jack. And what? Apple. And then we have a port in the side of the phone, which is really weird, I would say. Like you, you charge it and you put it in here. Also, if you didn't mention, this is where the battery goes in. So, how do you just slot in Boom. like that? And it can't really hold because there's no retention arm holding it here. Yeah, it's like if you remove a uh, retention arm for a CPU, it won't hold in. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side, there's not much there. It's pretty bare, really. It's all just contacts. Yeah, f I'm not sure what these contacts are for, though. Oh, they're probably just connecting that to that. I I think, well, this feels... Oh, no, my, that feels foamy. I think this is thermal. Yeah. This is thermals, I think, for the back of the screen. Yeah. Trying to dissipate heat through the, uh, through the through screen. screen. As many phones do, as it's the uh, largest metal contact area. So Except they Apple, they do it through the back. Through the screen. Yeah, until they made them glass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we haven't actually looked at the back of the phone case. Yes, we did not see this. So, in here... We basically have camera hole, 
Yes. Then if you look here, flash. So yes. you've got flash here. Which looks like it connected by the by this contact point. What do you think this could be? What do you think these are antennas? Um, very possibly. Because there doesn't seem to be antennas on the rest of it. And it also goes over this bit which looks ambitiously like an antenna. Oh yeah, that's definitely an antenna. So this is an antenna. This is your sim tray thing which would go Your sim retention. Which as you can see <laughs> This is the remains of the sim inside. This popped out of. Yeah. It's very pretty. Isn't yeah, it? you can see someone's number on the back of there, which I'm not gonna show. Yep. Conspiracy theory confirmed. Um Actually. Yep. I, where does the sim the sim go where's the sim oh this is a sim reader it, this isn't a power thing just look the sim goes so it goes right on top of it and there's the contact point on the sim go here oh, right. so this is our sim reader actually yeah on this side of the motherboard there you this go. is our sim and this looks like contact points for i think the electro all the, the electronics in here yeah go there and then there's more contact points here here and here. It's quite a clever mechanism, actually. In here, yeah. That's what phone is. Yep, <laughs> very clever mechanism. I, I don't think. I think the screen is not salvageable, but we like uh, we can find out. It's quite a small screen though. Like if you compare it to the um huge um screen, it's teeny. This, this is, is an iPhone, iPhone 6s Plus, by way for comparison yeah it's, it's a teeny screen compared to the iphone 6 plus in fact it's a teeny phone like the phone the phone frame yeah the phone is same on. Sit, fits, sits on the screen now you can imagine what an iphone would look like on an android Woo. awful <laughs> oh 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 no oh, this wait. is what we need yeah a broken iPhone. <laughs> this looks perfect that'd be kind of good as a screensaver <laughs> this on top of it oh my gosh yeah the hawaii oh, no, iphone coming. Why? <laughs> okay, I think that is all we can actually take apart from this thing. I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you, nobody, for sponsoring this video. If you disliked it, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, make me consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured in the link in the description. Also, linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community Discord, which you should totally join. We might frame this actually. We should frame this. Frame bits of a phone. Yeah, as our first proper unboxing video. Okay. Yeah.